Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today I'm going to take you through part one of the home renovation that's been completed. All right, so as you come in, I've got all of my old flooring still here. Um, they said, you have too much stuff. <laughs> and I was like, well, I mean, I boxed it all. I have a lot of furniture, apparently, and they didn't like that, but they moved it. They did really good. Um, the... <sighs> We've had some, we've had some hiccups, okay? And I'm not even going to talk about it right now because I'm just, I'm so exhausted. Anyway, it has to do with the baseboards. He keeps telling me I don't have enough to do my whole house. And then when I call the office, they say, oh yeah, my manager talked to the Home Depot manager and they said they, you do have enough. And look, we're not. We, I can't, I can not. So all they have to do is scoot this to the other side. They were even scooting it within one room just to this side. Laying all these floors and then moving it back over here and then laying that side. They can do it. It's fine. All of this stuff is light. It's not like anything that I have upstairs because upstairs I have desks and computers and you know, all of my filing cabinet papers and my bed and my dressers. and all. I don't have that much down here. I got a couple of light chairs, light tables. Everything's been, you know, they're fine. They will be fine. Everything's, yeah. Here's my baseboards that they said I don't have enough of. I got a whole pile of them. What, like 54 boards I had? I don't know if it's enough, and I don't even know if it's the whole load, because as you remember earlier, they had delivered this and the shoe molding, and I said, is that everything? And they were like, yep, that's everything. And I called the store, and I said, um, but I don't have the flooring, which is the main reason y'all are working with me. And then they plopped that, and I had to bring all 63 in by myself, whatever. So I just don't need any more hassles, okay? I can't deal with the clutter, the mess, not being able to find stuff. Uh, it's just, you know, it just gets my anxiety going and we can't. So I have most everything, you know, back there, they're fine. Um, I, do have the washer and dryer in here, but y'all have seen me move that by myself. So, two men can do that. Nothing in here because they took out all my toilets and my sink in here and my everything. And here I have this. I will roll this out. It's fine. If, that, if it's that big of a deal. This closet I do need to, <laughs> I do need to empty. And I'm just going to take this dolly back and get my $37 back. And instead get a light for my laundry room. And yeah, so this is what I'm going to do right now. But first, let's look at the new flooring. They've ripped up all of the carpet. It's very echoey in here now with hardwood, plank floors, whatever. Here's the flooring. So, and the hall is where they have installed the new, excuse me, the new baseboard, which is four and a quarter. It's an inch bigger than what I have throughout my house. I said, because he kept telling me, you don't have enough, you don't have enough, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I said, fine, put it down, put it down the hallway and then take extra pieces from here that are good and, you know, just patch them in the bedroom. He's like, okay. 
Well, that's what I got. He didn't caulk it. He didn't. He just... Okay. Then, um, this is where the MDF was swelling from the doors. I've got to get whole new door jams on every door in this hallway. Um... They did put a piece here, which was good. They put a piece here, which was good. It kind of looks a little weird, but I guess they'll put crown molding there or a shoe molding there. Oh, wait. Oh, I would imagine, yeah, because here's a piece here. They just forgot to do that piece. So I'll just tell them to do that piece. So there's that room. Um, I've only put together my room a little bit, just enough to have my bed sleep in because I'm so flipping exhausted. But here's my craft room. I haven't put it together. We'll have a, a whole home tour once everything is done. I'll give you a home tour of it. But this is how it looks in here. Tell me how the how it sounds when I'm filming. How are the acoustics? <laughs> okay. Then they did this closet. They did my exercise room. Oh, the cat was in here. I'm sorry, you got done. You need to come out though all these doors so the cat won't get in and I don't know I had him in his crate all day tomorrow he'll be locked up here but this is the exercise room so I have I mean I do I do have a lot of heavy stuff up here but it's not that bad downstairs up here is much worse but I spend most of my time upstairs it's just how it is so, because by the time I get home, I'm tired, I eat, I go to bed. Not really. I wish. I used to, but then I got depressed and I have to stay out of bed. Cause this depression. So, here's my room. It's not 100% put together, but it's coming along. I put my bed up. I put my two, that's just a towel in the floor for now. I put my two nightstands on either side of the bed. And I'm going to start sleeping on this side of the bed just for a change. When I was putting my mattress over, it fell. It was so heavy it fell and it knocked that whole bolted thing. So yeah, that'll be a upcoming video of fixing that nonsense but here's the floor all I have left are like my boxes of clothes and things like that but I basically just put the big pieces back where they belong took me about an hour to do that took me about another hour to set it all up where I wanted it but I just think it looks fantastic. So this is a mini carpet cleaner. And then I have my larger carpet cleaner, which is in here because it keeps leaking. So I took the solution out of it. I'm giving both of those to my great niece who cleans for a living. She can have them. I'm never having carpet again. This carpet just, ugh, it's too much. It's too dusty. So, then I have my closet. They put my dresser right here instead of putting my bookshelf back. I don't know. I might leave it like that. But, here's the floor in my closet. I've already been throwing stuff in here just to get it out of my room. But they put my mirror back and my ladder back. And all my clothes are still hanging. And then they just put book, uh, tall bookshelf, the small one tall one and then the small one because I had unhooked all of these from the walls so that they could move them out 
I forgot to do that in the craft room and they still were able to get the flooring done. I also learned that when you get your flooring done, they automatically don't take off these baseboards. They just slide the flooring under it and then do the shoe mold. Because I was like, why are my baseboards still dirty if they took them off and, you know, put them back on? <laughs> I didn't clean them because I thought they were replacing them. So now I get to clean all my baseboards. Anyway. Yep. So that's about it for this video. Short and sweet. Just wanted to show you the flooring. You want to see it up close? Here it is. I feel like they did a great job. Oh, did I show you my bathroom? Yeah. That's the last space, I guess. Um... I'm still trying to get used to these lights. I'm used to coming in and flipping it like that. You can't do that with these other ones. You have to press it. <laughs> anyway, so my rug is back. My toilet will be back in another couple of days. <laughs> For now, where do you go to the bathroom, Les? In the shower. And if I have to do a special, I go to Walmart or somewhere close by. But we're just not eating any fiber or beans right now. We're going to hope we can make it a couple more days, okay? More information than you wanted to know, but the best information before you go. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and listening to my craziness. I'm exhausted. I can take no more. And I'm crawling in my bed now. Bye-bye. <laughs>